will show you how you can handle with this little cool tool called Kato. First thing that you need is a MIDI file. I don't know what it is. So, uh, mostly I take, when I deal with this plugin, I take uh, the strings. The rest I will kill. Because mostly I think in the um, in the strings you have all the chord information that you need. Sometimes not, but mostly it works. So what I do then, I put them all in one track. And I do them together. And then what I always do is I kill all the program changes and then I kill all the controllers and then here with this uh, logical present I make the notes half and I do this always three times So, okay, then I take the MIDI output uh, canal 1 and I say go to Catolo. Catolo is here, this is the instrument, so you can see it here, down, down, here. And uh, the first thing that you have to do, you have to say him where he has to start to record the chords. So I do this by hitting the C1 button. You see here this red knob. And then I say learn. And I start playing this. Oh, uh, wait, I, I go a little bit further here. Let's try again. Okay. Okay. It's more. <laughs> extraction of this and uh, I always when I start this want to listen very quickly does it sounds as a result cool in the end I take for this my uh, strings here from Symphobia I put them in here uh, and here in, in the input routing I have the Catullo and then I can quickly listen to it if, it, if it's worth the time to deal with this. Oh, I must uh, turn down the Catullo sound. So I think, okay, it's, this is okay, I like it. So, and I will uh, go to the next node where is no chord saved. I hit the learn button and will continue. So, and in the end, you can save it. Okay, and now uh, I will show you few examples that I did in even this way. Uh, let's load some chords. Where are this here? Uh, Mozart is very cool.
so you can play around with this but I, I think there are no more uh, I have better that's cool Listen how this sounds. So I think it's very inspiring if you don't have an idea for your next track. You can take the chords of uh, Wagner and play around with this, I think. This is a very cool tool. Um, this is how I use Catullo. Normally, uh, you can also uh, take it as an arpeggiator, but I don't need it um, for me. The chords in the moment I, are enough. I, uh, the price is very low. It's, what, it's around uh, $40. And, uh, it's the tool that I used most uh, the last two weeks. So um, I hope this is something for you and see you next time.